We're back right here on Hashtag, your new favorite radio program. This is Patty's 20, broadcasting on KPFT 90.1 FM on Pacifica Radio all over the globe via paddysradio.podomatic.com over the TuneIn app and hey, even on HMS Now Radio. We're in studio with our special guest, Mantra Love, who's about to perform live right here in studio making the history. Fellas, tell them what they're about to hear on Paddy's 20. It's a, kind of a cheesy song about being heartbroken. And, uh, actually, I, actually, the song name means uh, it's like a Nordic uh, term for a home missing, that's no longer there. Home you can't return to. So, yeah. So it's not about your girlfriend. Right? <laughs> Songs got some heart. People can relate. It's a beautiful thing. You can check out the song that they're about to perform and more right now at their band camp. M-A-N-T-R-A-L-O-V-E dot bandcamp dot com. And if you like hearing this performance now, you're going to love seeing the video online. You can even watch it right now while you're hearing this performance. Look for it on YouTube and Facebook. YouTube by searching E-A-Z-Y-E-R-E-V. Or just type Patty's Radio on whatever social media site you're on. I'll get out the way. Gentlemen, take it away. Hey, we're Monster Love, and you're about to hear, hear you. Hear you. Hear you. Hear it. Hear it. Hear it. Hear it. Right here on your new favorite radio program, Patty's Radio, by our special guest, Monster Love. Thank you. 
right, so we're back here with our special guest, Mantra Love, and you just gave an amazing performance in studio here at the legendary Natsua. And I just want to ask you to let the Pattis peeps know, listening all around the globe right now on Pacifica Radio, via the Pattis Radio Podcast, on HMS Net Radio, and via the TuneIn app, how did you all come together to be Mantra Love? Well, uh, we started playing music together a couple years ago. I would say maybe like three, four years ago, but um, we haven't... Mantra Love has been a band for about like a year, so I would say we've been a band for a year. Yeah. Um, this guy Derek is my brother. This is Fabian. Oh, okay. So y'all pretty much been together your whole life. <laughs> yeah. We probably Both eerily us. sound the same too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Cody, let me ask you: With y'all having so many like diverse backgrounds, and them two being brothers and family, uh, did you all have an idea of the sound y'all wanted to achieve, or did you have a direction when you sat down so many years ago? the high voice here <laughs> uh, it was basically like uh, Derek and Fabian just kind of came into music I was in like percussion and stuff in school so that gave me a little background and um, me and Derek met we did a little two piece thing we built up from there Fabian just came into the, uh, the picture and it was it just felt right and from there it was just like us maturing together as musicians. All right, so in being together for such a short time, if you could, for those who don't make music, explain what your journey has been like to this point from where you started, and I guess where your sound has evolved to. Um, well, it's kind of, you don't try to put a word to it because then you kind of leave out something that could be, and then you work working on something that might not even be you or something. Sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll write a little thing on the guitar and with a little vocal line I'll bring it to the guys and we start jamming it and just start transforming to something else or you know sometimes we'll just be all together in a room and you know it just it just happens spontaneously it's as if like the idea is like floating around and we just happen to be there to you know grab it but um, yeah it's it's always different it's always changing there's I, I think our formula is not to really have a set formula and just kind of experiment and let whatever happens happens it's definitely like uh, we strive to be like multi-instrumental, all three of us, so it's never set on like Fabian's bass, Derek's guitar and vocals, I'm drums. It's like whatever any of us can think of. Like if I think of something on keyboard, if Fabian thinks of something on guitar, if Derek thinks of something on drums, we just run with it. Whatever we can find as long as it's from like our, our influence, that's good. We go with it. Yeah, and I, I just I just feel like uh, we all just we're all really close, you know. Like we're all yeah, friends. We love we're brothers. Music. We love the same music. So it's all pretty natural. It's just like whenever we just started jamming, just started channeling or whatever you want to call it, you know. Like, it's any it just, human can like when you hear a new song, you grow as like a a person who listens to song, and you grow in like your, your library of like what music you know and how that influences you. So it's really all of us just being together while that happens to each of us individually yeah. and that coming together. And while we got a chance, make sure you tell the Patterns people listening worldwide where they can find you. You can find us, Mantra Love, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Bandcamp. Just get on the social sites and look for Mantra Love. You'll see us there. We're there. I promise. We're the only uh, non-yoga dub <laughs> that you'll find. <laughs> we're, the, we're the psych rock Mantra Love. You listen to Patty's Radio 20 coming to you right now on Pacifica Radio, KPFT 90.1 FM HD Channel 3, via the Patty's Radio podcast at pattysradio.podomatic.com. Folks, we'll be back with our special guest, Mantra Love, in a minute. Like us and follow us on Facebook and SoundCloud by searching Patty's Radio, on Twitter and Instagram at P A T T I S Radio. And don't forget, we do this podcast thing every week at our podcast site. Pattersradio.podomatic.com. My name is E-Rev and I'm on Twitter and Instagram at E-A-Z-Y-E-R-E-V. We're in studio joined by a special guest, M-A-N-T-R-A-L-O-V-E, on Instagram and Twitter. This is Derek, Cody, and Fabian of Mantra Love. And I want to ask you guys, who are some of your influences or some people that may have uh, had an impact on the way you all approach or hear music? Who are some of the guys that you listen to? Definitely for me, Cody Drummer, Modest Mouse, Jeremiah Green, My God, He's God, um, Grizzly Bear, 
Tame Impala, definitely. Um, Pink Floyd, you know, all that classic Led Zeppelin. Everything that anybody who has good music taste listens to. All right. I don't know if that's conceited or, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. All right, that, Derek, how about you? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that, I mean, God, like, it's such a huge range from, like, psychedelic music to, like, I don't know. I don't know. There's, there's just so much that we listen to. Like, there's, there's no way. Okay. Um, we really like modern, like, like you know, like psychedelic music, like Tim and Paula, MGMT, right. Pond, like, those kind of cats. Um, and then, you know, stuff from decades back, you know, from the 60s and 70s, you know. You know, of course, like Pink Floyd, and, you know, um, Sid Barrett, you know, all those, all those guys. It's really cool. Fabian or Fab, as I'm calling you for the rest of the program. <laughs> uh, definitely for me is uh, the Strokes. I love you, Julian Casablanca. So you're out there. <laughs> uh, no, Julian Casablanca in the Voids is some sick music. I feel Tim and Paula. Him, Kevin Parker as a producer, musician, Melly's Echo Chamber, Mac DeMarco. Yeah, I agree. I concur. All uh, those. All yeah. good. I, I love all of it. So. We obviously have very alike musical influences because everything they've said, I completely agree to. And we're. we're still, I would say, we're though, more more for music. that. The, the in like the collective, it's like we most people say we resemble Tame and Paula. Um, uh, I've heard Grizzly Bear a lot. I've heard um, oh why am I not? I can't think of their name. Um, uh, from Britain. Um, Arctic Monkeys. No, what what's their Smiths? <laughs> right now, right now. Temples. Temples. I've temples, heard Temples yes, a lot. Temples, yeah. yeah. Okay, the Temples is really cool. Yeah. Now we got another song coming from these gentlemen in a second. They're also going to give you the segment that's sweeping the nation in the entire world. It's called Hashtag Patty's Top 5. All right, so let me ask you, in the world we live in where everything gets a label thrown on it, uh, being this kind of genre and that, what would you tell somebody that your music sounds like? What label would you throw on it, if any? I think uh, it'd be best at our standpoint not to even put a label on it because we've listened to it so many times and played it. Uh, I can't really say where we're heading, but I, I know we've definitely maturing, matured and like gone down some like some path, whatever that path is. But I don't want to like go as far to say we're gonna be this, or but we're we're just trying to keep writing good music that we enjoy, that everyone else enjoys, that you want to move and dance yeah. to and feel I, good. I think it's safe to say y'all are gonna dig it. So, but you do think oh. like as a band, you all have found a sound that y'all are comfortable with. Y'all have found a lane, yes. just stuff y'all are comfortable with. We're, and we're all if anything, we're directions. hovering around. Yeah. Something. Yeah. yeah, we've. It's like we're in the stratosphere of like what we want to be in, and we used to be like Pluto to the sun. And it was like, you know, we started out with that hard rock, and it's like, it's fun, but then you're like, where does it go? And then we started defining more of what we really want, and you start, once you get closer to it, you feel it, like, you just feel it. There's no way to explain it, you just feel it. But we're definitely working towards something. So, you would say that you feel like you all are closer to the Earth, or the sun, and not Uranus, is that what you're saying? Exactly. <laughs> you notice I was trying to make an, a, a connection there, yeah. We're, we're bringing it back around, ladies and gentlemen. This is how this I, I works. You <laughs> ain't. This is how I this works care. on your new favorite radio program, Pat is Radio. We're in here with Fabian, Derek, and Cody. So we're about to hear another track from Mantra Love right now on Pat is Radio. Uh, let the Pat is Peeps know, listening worldwide, what they're about to hear. Yeah, how yeah. a demo that we did at uh, Friends Kisses House. one day. Um, yeah, we just did it just so that we can kind of experiment and see what we sound like. And um, yeah, we just kind of ran with it. To me, it means uh, kind of like letting go of all your preconceived notions of reality and letting go of your inhibitions and kind of like don't be afraid to just like express yourself freely and like just be whoever you are, like as cliche and stupid as that sounds. Cliche because it's true. Yeah, it's true, man. It's you can feel it in the beat you can feel it in the rhythm you can feel it in everything like it's all about just letting go and just feeling the music inside you (laughs) (laughs) all right right now on this special edition of patas radio you got not one but two two times two times of mantra love bringing you music on patas 20 broadcasting 
on KPFT 90.1 HD Channel 3, Pacifica Radio, via the Patterns Radio Podcast, and all over the world from that zoo in Houston. Here's Mantra Love with Howling, the demo, right here on Patterns Radio. So we're back right here on your new favorite radio program. This is P-A-T-T-I-S Radio with me, your boy, Rev, broadcasting on 90.1 FM all over the globe on Pacifico Radio and via the Patterns Radio podcast at PattersRadio.Podomatic.com. It's been an action-packed edition. We've had two songs, two songs by our special guest, Mantra Love. And now... All the energy they've expended, they're still about to give you segment that's sweeping the nation and the globe. You know it as your pattern top five. 
where our special guest gives you a list of five things they want to talk about the most. And it's like I always say, if you got a problem with the baddest top five, do me a favor and don't tweet me, baby. I wish you could see it. I'm like, I'm thrusting my hips right now. Don't tweet at me, baby. Tweet at our special guest, M-A-N-T-R-A-L-O-V-E Music on Twitter and Instagram. So with that said, I'm going to get out of the way and let my special guests, Derek, Cody, and Fabian, give you their pad of top five. Gentlemen, take it away. Okay, we'll give it to you. Uh, our top five upcoming artists. Clergy. Mojave Red. Migrant Kids. Children of Pop. And Stoop Kids. We're going to break the rules. We love break it. the rules. Uh-oh. We're going we to give you some more. Breakers. Give you some more Paper Bison, uh, Monoros, Woozy, Woozy. We love them. We love you guys. Um, <laughs> Wit, uh, Wit's listen, great. Listen to all of them, man. They're they're great. They're solid. Uh, think of some more. Little Joy. No, no, they're already good. <laughs> all right, that's that's cool, man. The Avenger Banhart. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's upcoming. <laughs> You know, Julian Casablanca. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's fine. He doesn't need the shout yeah, out. Bruce Springsteen. I, I want to <laughs> give him the We got the boss, the boss, ladies and gentlemen. The boss made the show. Yeah. Yeah. Simon and Garfunkel? Is, 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 Why not? Is we way. got everybody. Everybody's in the Paddy's Top 5 today. But just to recap, give the Paddy's peeps the Paddy's Top 5 one more time of upcoming artists they should look out for. Right here. The Clergy. All right. Mojave Red. Gotcha. Migrant kids. Noted. Children of pop. Writing it down. Stoop kids. In my head right now. We're well, running to the internet right now to look up those five bands. My special guest in studio and not two. This is Mantra Love. Woozy. Woozy. Shout out Woozy. 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 Has this journey has gotten you to this point where you're in studio talking to me, the money man? Has it been what you thought it was going to be just getting into music? How does it feel? Rough. It's super rough, man. You don't get yeah. paid for anything. It's, it's, yeah, you have to you have to fight to get paid out, and then you have to watch, hover over your stuff to make sure it doesn't get stolen, and you gotta pay for your beers. You gotta pay for your. You gotta pay <laughs> but for you the get beer. a discount. Yeah, you get it's a dollar good off. and bad because there's definitely like people who really are. You know when somebody's in it because they love it, and because or if somebody's just trying to make a buck. Oh, yeah, that's you. what's good about it. Like all the people that do play in the scene, like especially here in Houston, you can tell that like yeah. they're in it because they want to play music. Because no most times you're playing for no one, and like and you're not getting paid. And like you said, you're like yeah. you're it's like DIY music. all day is what I feel most comfortable with. If somebody's like got a setup that's obviously like they did it all with their own hands, they're obviously doing it because they love it and they're not there to like just make a quick buck or it's not like an investment or some shit like that, like business. Yeah, we even uh, come across a lot of bands who will just skip out on the show or uh, skip out on anything just because just they don't feel like yeah, it. They'll be, on, they'll be on tour or something and they'll come by and they'll, they'll, like, the show won't be like, Popping like they thought it would be, and they're just, yeah, like, they're just pouring into it. like jaded. They're like, "Oh no, we're not gonna play." So let me ask. So get that. <laughs> with that, let me ask you this: um, To this point, has that dream been what you thought it was? Like, this, is this what you expected when y'all started making music? No, not at all. Like, I definitely had a more like fanciful idea of it whenever I was introduced to the whole like, you know, rock star phenomena. You know, but uh, it, it's definitely a change, especially yeah, like, you don't. I don't care how, how much of a cliche it is. It's not called the starving artist for no reason. Like, it, where does the passion come from? Or is it like you can just tell, like you said, like people are just in it for the money or you can tell what their intentions are? I understand like you want to get like, I want to do this to where I can be self-sufficient in the fact that I want to be able to live off of what I do. But at the same time, you don't make decisions based off of like how much ma- money you're making because then... You're just going down a dark path, and that's not really going to get you where you want to be. It totally shows in the in the music you're making, if it's for a buck or if it's for, like, uh, mass appeal. All right, folks, we're about to get out of here with our special guest, Mantra Love. But before we do, I want you to tell the Paddis Peeps if you got anything coming up you're working on. The time is yours to tell the Paddis Peeps everything that's going on with the group they've been listening to. Let them know what's going on with Mantra Love and where they can support you online. We actually have a lot coming up right now. 
we have an EP we're planning on releasing uh, this summer with about five tracks on it. Uh, also, we're having our website that's going to go up to along with the EP, uh, all brand new merch, art, all that stuff. It's gonna it's gonna be good. Yeah. We're planning on touring as well. We're gonna start building our our fan base up. We're gonna go around Texas, go around the states around Texas. Well, we'd love to have you blank name here <laughs> sign up and be a part of the Munch Love experience and also we have a uh, email list that we want to build up and if you want to get part of it yes. email let us Mancha know love music at gmail.com we'll, we'll you you'll, you'll get some free merch you'll, maybe you'll get some free tracks Ow! that we love and appreciate you Ow! and you'll definitely knowing our upcoming shows and our EP that is soon to be released also with that, that newsletter that email you'll be able to know exactly when we're in your town the day of uh, we'll send out those emails all the time we want to stay connected with you guys wait Later wait 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 my, my mind went blank and my head almost exploded when you said free merch give the baddest peeps that email one more time mantra love music at gmail.com well, yeah, money would always be nice <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we need a band tour but uh go like us on facebook go follow us on facebook please go follow us on instagram twitter um Hashtag Mantra Love, whatever the hell that does. <laughs> uh, just like it. Just go listen to us, if anything, man. That, that's, that's all we ask. All right, well, so we're about to get out of here on Hashtag Pat is 20. Have my special guest, Mantra Love, in studio. I want to thank you three gentlemen. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you. you Rick. <laughs> thank you, Patty. You flattered me. If I went so radio. black, I, if I went so black, I would blush. But besides all that, <laughs> I appreciate y'all coming through it's, and showing it's, love it's to new the favorite radio. It's not the It's the beard. Man. It's the beard. It's is what the it beard. is. Gentlemen, y'all got anything else? Uh, soul shout out to my dad, Roger Boyer. He put up with a lot of. <laughs> I have my band members living over my house. Basically, turned it into a uh, hippie commune. He put up with a lot of. I love him to death. Love him forever. That's it. Shout out, Pops. Uh, yeah, I want to give a shout out to Mi Familia. Um, also to Cody's family. Yeah, they, for the thanks for the hippie commune. That really helped out a lot, too. <laughs> also helping us get a hippie commune around. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks to you guys. Thanks to everyone who makes anything possible, honestly. it's uh, I love you. Love you all. Fab. Yeah, my, my brother and my other brother covered the familia part um but i just want to thank you for you listening um if whoever goes to check us out whatever whatever you do is appreciated and is loved i want to thank Derek, cody and fabian for joining us in studio on this special 20th edition of Patas radio they tore down the house with a live performance that you can check out online and while you're doing that make sure you show them love on social media thank you gentlemen for joining us on Patas radio We'll talk to you soon. Well, we got a second. Let me make sure I tell you again to check us out all over social media on Twitter and Instagram at P A T T I S Radio. Search for us on Facebook and SoundCloud, Pat is Radio. This has been the 20th edition of Hashtag, your new favorite radio program. Coming to you from 314 Main in downtown Houston, Texas, on Pacifica Radio 90.1 KPFT FM HD Channel 3. Via the Pattis Radio Podcast and at pattisradio.podomatic.com. Join us next week when we're joined in studio by a special guest, Zig Tebra. From Mantra Love, my name is E-Rail. Y'all keep it tight. We'll see you next week on Pattis Radio. <laughs>